Hey yo, what is going everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and as you guys can see we have the new Galaxy Opal Kyle Kuzma who if you believe it or not I actually got for a 20k snipe. Wrote a picture. There it is. 20k snipe. Absolutely insane. So you guys know I had to do a gameplay on him and I'm immediately selling him after this to get massive amounts of profit. Love to see it. But this Kyle Kuzma still looks to be an absolutely insane player nonetheless. So I was hoping I got him anyway. Um, Kyle Kuzma, 6 foot 9, 7 foot uh, small forward power forward, which is going to be great. They juiced up his defense. That's kind of the warped reality about it. So you guys will see that when we get to it. And He's got jump shot 80, which is that like Jamal Murray jumper on very quick with the curry slide, which is going to be uh, pretty fun. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash the like button down below. Comment what you guys think about this Kyle Kuzma as we get on. Subscribe if you guys are new. Road to 10K. And make sure that you guys go ahead and uh, check out the Penny Hardaway Galaxy Opal gameplay that we already have on the channel after this one. Absolute banger. That card is literally insane. So it's going to be a fun one. So, Kyle Kuzma, as we talked about, 6.9, small forward, power forward. He's probably going to be running the uh, power forward in this game. Uh, we'll see how it lines up. Actually, no, I'll sneak him in. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm capping. I'll leave him at the power forward. But, anyway, you can see for Kyle Kuzma, we have some pretty solid post game as well, which is pretty nice. I like it. We have a 94 midi and a 94 three-point shot, but I did put a quick little uh, Puma shoe that I had on him to give him a 97 shot three. It's a gold shoe, so you know. 85 free throw, 85 standing, and a 95 driving dunk. So Kuzma is going to be an offensive threat, and I'm here for it. 86 ball handle with some pretty great playmaking as well, which is going to be nice. And the defense, a 90 block, 92 steal, 93 perimeter, and a 90 interior. This Kyle Kuzma is insane, and that's where you can see that defense coming in clutch. 85 of both rebounds, which is going to be nice. And the speed being 90 plus and everything is going to be amazing as well. 38 Hall of Fame badges. This is where you're going to see a lot of those um, badges come in general. Um, he's got a lot of shooting, a lot of defense, and quite a few actually finishing as well, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket coming in there for the defense. Clam, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimidator, Post, Deriser, Pogo Stick, Post Move, Lockdown, Trapper. Like, Kuzma having all these is crazy. Circuit 3s and Z3s as well. Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, the 3 Downhill, Set, Shooter, Quick First Step. You kind of get the gist. Green Machine as well. Uh, which is nice. And then we have 29 gold badges to fill out anything else that we didn't have. You know, Dimer, Defensive Leader, Rebound, Chaser, things like that. Pretty cool. Um, just some helpful badges, Deadeye, Sniper, Hudson Hunter, and stuff like that. Now, if you're on Next Gen, um, the only badge that Kuzma doesn't have in shooting is Blinders, which is a pretty, I guess, big badge for Next Gen, but it means that on current gen, you're actually going to be looking pretty good, and it's going to be a pretty fire court uh, so without further ado let's hop into the freestyle and check out this kyle kuzma and see how that jump shot 80 on very quick gets on because he's the only player in the game with that timing all right so here we are with kyle kuzma and as you can see we have one hot zone that we actually are missing which is going to be a pretty big deal i would say that the uh, top of the key three pointer is probably the most or the second most important spot to have the most important for me are this one right here so we have like um, I guess we'll call it the right wing and the left wing. These are the two most important three-point uh, shots, I would say, because usually you set a screen here and then fade and uh, chuck up some threes from there. So pretty nice, but I would like to have it, but I'm really not too mad. We have all of the other major ones, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, we also have the quick dribble style, which is obviously going to be great, and we do have the long at the layup package. I'm doing some crazy stuff with him right here. Uh, you can see it, which is going to be great. You already saw me shaking up with the curry slide, but the big thing with Kyle Kuzma is he has amazing full court dribbles with the pro three behind the back. This is going to make him one of the best um, small forward power forwards, I think, in the game. Um, obviously not on Danny Ferry level, but the fact that he has super solid full court dribbling makes him a super slept on card, and he may actually uh, be expensive when, once people start to realize this. So uh, pretty big W. I like to see it. Um, we also have the normal leaner on our man, Kyle Kuzma, which is a pretty nice one. Excited to try that out, even if he pricked that. And jump shot 80 is a, I guess, more of a medium speed jumper. You're not going to be calling it very quick, and you're not going to be calling it slow, uh, which is cool. But it's, because of that, really easy to time, even if you were just um, using the square or the shot stick. Both of them are going to work perfectly fine. It's just an all-around really good jumper. If you've used Jamal Murray, you've used Kobe White, you've used jump shot 80, and you you probably are a fan. Uh, now, when it comes to our uh, post game, because he does have a bit of it, we do have the, uh, I think, fade three, I think it is, which actually gets a good bit of space uh, for Kuzma, which is pretty nice. Um, we've 
bricked both of these so far um, and I probably will not be going to the post at all but if you are somebody that likes to mix it up in the post every now and then you know you get a mismatch or something like that you definitely can do it and uh, use some moves in there and he does have a pretty good uh, post hook I think of an 85 as well so you could use that pretty well and he does have hook three for that which is the uh, Zion Williamson Kevin Garnett Taco Fall Wilt Chamberlain kind of hook a really good one actually so you could use that to your advantage um, other than that Kyle Kuzma Got nothing else too special, but still, um, I, I would call one of the better cards in the entire game, honestly, at that like three and four position. I'm going to be super excited to uh, use them. So without further ado, I want to try um, to get one of these normal leaner threes to fall with that green. There it is. And now let's hop right into the gameplay with Galaxy Opal Kyle Kuzma. All right, here we go. It looks like Jaren Jackson versus Jaren Jackson in there. And Dark Matter, J.R. Smith. Going to be a really tough game, I think, to win, especially if we're getting crabbed like that. And kicks out to the corner. At least it's only a midi. Um, pretty good squad that we got here, but obviously it's all about our main man, Kyle Kuzma. I have to have some fun and see what's going on. We got Rui, Ruby. I said Rui. Looks like Ruby Byron Russell. Or Brian <laughs> Russell. And there's the dunk by Kyle Kuzma right over Kevin Porter. Looking beautiful. I may have to switch matchups, but we'll see how he does. Uh, with J.R. Smith with Felipe just on him now, which is not great, as you see him getting absolutely cooked. Uh, so maybe Felipe Lopez is going to need um, to get off that J.R., but we'll see how it goes. And now Thaddeus Young guarding at Kuzma, which apparently is not a good idea as he gets wide open and the white is falling. Five points for Kyle Kuzma. He's looking pretty solid so far. Uh, we just got to get the greens, as you know. All right, so it looks like my guy's entire plan is just screen, curry, slide, and then run through it, uh, which is going to be pretty interesting to go against. Wait for him to step back up. There we go. Kuzma inside. <laughs> Kevin Porter Jr. is just getting put all over the posters. You'd love to see it, man. Kyle Kuzma's a beast. All right, so let's get the ball into Kyle Kuzma's hands. It's only about him, so we got to just keep cooking it with him, see what he's going to be doing. Try to get him in to that screen a little bit. Walk back out to the three-point line and get the greens. Man, Thaddeus Young is just getting put through the ringer right now. G trying to guard Kyle Kuzma. You'll love to see it. But Felipe Lopez is having just as much trouble with J.R. Smith. You can see those Jaron Jackson screens are no joke. He is getting it uh, pretty intensely. But what I don't love is that Kyle Kuzma does not want to get the ball um, in the beginning. It's not... Um, the most amazing thing, good defense right now by Thaddeus Young. And now Jaron on us is a bit of a pickle. Let's try to get the reverse dunk. Okay, look at Kyle Guzma go. 12 points right there. Um, looking pretty solid so far. All right, here we go. Get it back to Kyle Kuzma. Our man's got a two-point lead off of some uh, interesting things, I guess we'll call it that. Let's get this Jaron Jackson screen right around, see what he's doing, letting Kuzma right inside and getting the dunk. Not letting us use that sharpshooter takeover, which is smart, but overall, not too bad. And now we have Kuzma on JR. All right, Kuzma still not wanting to bring the ball up, which is crazy because we he's brought the ball up literally every single possession. Um, let's see what we got. George Gervin setting that one, getting open with Kuzma and the green. 19 points right there. And really, the only problem is just guarding JR. Other than that, we're fine. All right, Kevin Porter Jr. has got it. We have Kuzma with the ball wide open out there from the logo. That's going to be a green 22 to 22. And I think most of his points actually are with JR. So it's basically just a JR and a Kuzma battle. Get that back up to Kyle Kuzma and see what he's doing. Thaddeus Young is still on our man going under the screen. We're getting open and finally we get a white to go in our favor. He got back to back. We've only had one, but it is what it is. 25 with Kyle Kuzma. He keeps doing that uh, span dribble into a quick little curvy slide or just a speed boost that time. Look at that. Interesting. And now Kevin Porter is on Jaron Jackson. My matchups never stay how I put them. It is what it is. Let's see what happens with Kyle Kuzma and this Thaddeus Young or just a blow by right to the paint and dunk over Jared Jackson. 27 points right now for Kuzma. It's looking beautiful right now. All right, let's see what Kyle Kuzma can do down at two. The matchups are a little bit wild, but he gets through into the paint again. This has been a all offense bout. Nobody's been able to stop anybody, but it's kind of been fun. 
Kyle Kuzma again running down. Got a completely different matchup this time in Brian Russell. We haven't seen that so far, but getting inside, wait for the jump, and then the easy layup right there. 39 1 and 2 for Kyle Kuzma. He's having a hell of a game, but JR is having just as good of one. All right, Kuzma again. We got a two point game after a JR foul and a open Kyle Kuzma. Oh! is going to be getting the white. That's not exactly ideal. And now with Jaren on us, it's going to be top. Oh, shaking him in his boots to the screen inside of the dunk again. 41 points. He's doing a wonderful job, actually, guarding the three-point line, but just cannot stop us from getting to the paint. All right, let's bring Kuzma up to get the ball because you know what? Why not see what he's doing with that? He is young, letting us get through and back to the paint again for the dunk. 49 points with Kyle Kuzma, and I swear majority of them are in the paint because he just is not letting us get threes. Oh, there we go. Steal for Kyle Kuzma, expecting the pass down to Jaron Jackson, who is now guarding Kuzma. Ooh, and reaching a little much. Okay, okay. Kyle Kuzma is causing a little bit of frustration, I think. Let's get him to run up and catch the ball right through the middle because obviously that's not what they're expecting. Seems like he's got a little bit of off ball right now for Teddy is young, and it's working actually pretty decent um oh 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 what was that i have no clue but it worked in our favor kuzma getting inside and we get free throws i don't know what that was but finally we can check out the kyle kuzma free throw animation which i think if i remember from 2kdb is free throw six should be another one of those mid-speed jumpers that's pretty solid yeah it is 95 percent looking good for kuzma and now let's get this last one in Ooh, 82 but <laughs> still it went in that's beautiful all right, Kyle Kuzma. It's a three-point game. One minute and, I guess, 10 seconds-ish left, which um, <laughs> it's crunch time. It's time for Kyle Kuzma to show why he is amazing. And there it is, faking him into the screen and getting the green light. Three greens behind the screens are beautiful, man. 58 points right now for Kuzma. Boom, and baiting that pass to the corner, and now Kuzma's getting it. He's got to intentionally foul a little bit. You love to see it, man. We've been kind of letting that corner go uh, most of the game, but snagging it when it ca counts most. Now Kuzma is on it. Fast break, green light, three, 61, and sharpshooter takeover. This is what you want in crunch time by your best card. Oh, Kuzma's out running. He's got the, ooh, the fast break. Okay, I thought it was out of bounds off of us, but it was just a thrown right into uh, George Gray or Byron Russell's face. I don't know how he was okay with that, but is what it is and now we got a little bit of full court press we can break through it because he is reaching just a little bit too much and now let's see what he's doing he's trying not to bait on the screen but get brought into it in the dunk for kuzma 63 points and a steal right there for kuzma yet again breaking through wrap around and there's the dunk to seal the deal by kyle kuzma we have an 11 point game with nine seconds left it's a dub all right, so here's the end box score with Kyle Kuzma. 65 points, one rebound, two assists, and five steals for our man. The defense was on point with Kyle Kuzma. Like, it actually, seriously, was kind of crazy. Um, Kyle Kuzma was just absolutely locked down. He was 28 to 36 from the field. Um, just going to the basket every single time is what our opponent was letting us do. So, obviously, that's what we're going to do um, if he's going to give it to us. And 7 to 13 from the three-point line wasn't that bad. Um, the jumper... A little bit awkward uh, when I was actually getting into it at first, but once you get used to it, it's a pretty smooth, really clean jumper um, that's actually kind of nice, kind of fire, really fun to use. Um, overall, Kyle Kuzma is just a great guy if you need him uh, in general for just like 3 and D purposes or like things like that. He's just a great guard all around and still has that like cheese factor, you know, with the Curry slide. Like, yeah, he's going to play defense. Yeah, he's going to shoot threes, but he still can kind of cheese and get shifty with it when you want him to, which I absolutely love. So absolute demon of a card. Love him. And I recommend him to anybody that can pick him up, especially if you can get him like me for 20K. Uh, like if you guys did enjoy, comment down below what you guys think of this Kyle Kuzma and make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video.